A certain Hashira fell short of fans' expectations with a forgettable battle and a tepid character arc. Demon Slayer's third season, the Swordsmith Village story arc, shone the spotlight on two Hashira. First, Demon Slayer fans saw the awesome power of the quiet Himbo Muichiro Tokido, who single-handedly slew the Upper Moon Five, Gyoko. Then, the story arc focused on Mitsuri Kanroji, the love Hashira, but she dropped the ball. Mitsuri is a likable character as a friendly, cheerful Dere Dere, who made instant friends with Nezuko Kamado. And she can stand up to the mighty Upper Moon Four, Hantengu, in Mortal Kombat. Even so, Mitsuri never shone in combat the same way Kyojuro, Tengen, and Muichiro did, and her character arc is too shallow and open-ended even if she does have a lovable personality and a surprisingly wholesome backstory. Mitsuri Kanroji fell short of her fellow Hashira. Mitsuri Kanroji appeared early in the Swordsmith Village story arc as the most pleasant and charming Hashira since Kyojuro Rengoku, giving fans a strong first impression of the strong but gentle love Hashira. Then, after Muchiro's great battle against Gyoko, Demon Slayer finally gave Mitsuri her own turn to steal the spotlight, and she fell short. Mitsuri bravely took on Hantengu's youngest and strongest form so Tanjiro and Jenya could go after Hantengu's real body, which was a smart decision on Mitsuri's part, but it didn't mean much beyond that. Mitsuri merely held off Hantengu's strongest body to buy time, and she actually would have lost that fight only for Tanjiro to kill Hantengu's main body and thus destroy the body Mitsuri was fighting. Also, Mitsuri Kanroji did not have any inspiring moments, contrasting her sharply with Kyojuro, Tengen, and Muchiro. Kyojuro Rengoku impressed fans and inspired Tanjiro's trio with his parting words, while Tengen showed what ninjas can do in battle, and Muichiro had a delightful change of heart after hearing Tanjiro's words. Mitsuri may be a strong and likable Hashira, but that alone isn't enough to make her inspiring or make her stand out. She didn't change anyone's life with her words, actions, or worldview, and no one else did that for her either. Mitsuri ended up a source of comic relief and little more, which is a huge disservice to her character. It's also a total waste of a Hashira's potential as a fighter and as a character. Mitsuri Kanroji needs a true challenge later in Demon Slayer. Fighting the likes of Hantengu is challenging for any Hashira, but even then Mitsuri's battle against him was really just filler, and did not truly challenge her on a meaningful level. Several other Hashira were pressed into using unusual techniques or improving new tactics to win, or those Hashira were personally challenged to defend what they believed in. That happened with Kyojuro's fight against Akaza, for example, with Kyojuro defending his choice to remain human, even if it meant dying by Akaza's hand. Muichiro was challenged to overcome his own airheaded himbo nature and learn to idealistically fight for others' sake, which he did, resulting in character growth. Mitsuri Kanroji got none of this in Season 3, but that may change later. Mitsuri safely survived Gyoko and Hantengu's assault, so she's in good shape to fight the remaining Upper Moons or even Muzan Kibutsuji himself with her allies in later story arcs. When and if that happens, Mitsuri may be finally forced to defend what she believes in and may be forced to make an impossible choice or make serious sacrifices along the way. That could serve as excellent payoff for Mitsuri's unfinished character arc, such as her fixation on finding a husband who's even stronger than her or Mitsuri's firm belief in the power of love and family. If Muzan and the Upper Moons can threaten all that and create immense personal stakes for Mitsuri, then Demon Slayer fans may finally see what the charming love Hashira is really made of. Thanks for watching.